What's up guys, DB Base Center checking in. Uh, I know it's been a while since I uh, updated my pretty much my channel. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I made a video. This today will be the first one. I think the last one, um, if you my subscriber, you've been keeping up with my videos, was when I did the uh, AC install, which was, uh, I don't know, like five months ago. But uh, anyway, today I got a little video for you guys. Um, kind of, a, it's kind of an unboxing. Um, video first and then we're gonna go ahead and get into a little bit of uh, soldering uh, a little bit of CNC um, I bought a CNC machine so uh, yeah I want to show you guys that and uh, let's get started alright guys so um, I was um, surfing the web uh, specifically on Craigslist about a week ago and I uh, came up on this CNC machine CNC router um, and I think, you know, 700 bucks was a, a super sweet deal. I couldn't pass it. Um, especially when I saw the, the Z-axis. Um, it's a real beefy uh, Z-axis. So that's pretty much the reason why I decided to go ahead and make the purchase. And besides, I've been wanting one since, I don't know, maybe two years ago. Um, back when I started looking for these. Um, I think the cheapest that I would, you know, I could find that would be for my budget. I think it was 2300 and uh, I heard a lot of bad reviews about that one which was the CNC mogul um, but as you can see this one is real real sturdy real um, you know it's not the best obviously because it's made from aluminum extrusions um, it's always you know they're always not as precise as a bigger machine you know that has steel um, parts in it um, and a lot of them have you know like linear bearings instead of using these uh, V wheels um, that ride on this I think they call this a V channel something like that um, yeah it's, it's it's precise enough you know to do a little bit of aluminum milling and and plywood mostly what I'm gonna use it for to cut plywood so um, I think it'll be a good starter machine, you know, to start getting into the, to the whole, to the whole, um, CNC, um, community. All the extrusions and all the little parts like this, um, the, um, the gantry plates and, and the Z-axis gantry, uh, um, mount here, it's all from, um, I don't know if you guys heard of the company, it's called, um, Open builds. Um, and this is the. Um, these are all parts from from their from their designs, pretty much, um, except for the z-axis. This is um, this is made by another guy. So supposedly, that's what the guy told me who I bought it from. Um, some other guy made this uh, z-axis and the mount for the spindle and all that. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I like the machine compared to the the one that I was I told you guys that I, I looked up at the uh, CNC Mogul. Um, this is a way better machine. Um, I, like I said, I never bought that machine, so I can't really, you know, say if it's good or bad. But um, from looking at it, just you know, um, just looking at the machine how it was built, you could really tell that it, it had a lot of flaws, especially where they had their mounts where it bolted to the to the table um, it was pretty pretty bad design um, the uh, well, their gantry extended over it was a four foot uh, footprint so you could you know stick in a whole sheet of plywood um, the problem with theirs is they use this is a 40 millimeter extrusion they use that for a four foot which once you combine the weight of the spindle and the weight of the brackets and everything it starts to sag so you get a lot of um, erroneous readings or, or when it starts cutting you, you don't get the same depth as so if you're cutting here on this side compared to in the middle you know you get different cuts but anyway I guess I'll give you guys a little uh, walkthrough of the machine and um, yeah we're going to modify we're going to be modifying a little bit off from, from the wiring uh, so I'll, I'll show you guys that in the next video 